We're talking to Mark McCahill at Duke University. He is uh, an internet pioneer. I love talking to internet pioneers and uh, the creator of some of the protocols that you probably still use PopMail. Many of people still use PopMail, although it's being slowly superseded by IMAP. You probably don't regret that, Mark. No. No. It's time, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I mean, this stuff isn't forever. Yeah. Ideally, someone comes up with something better that you know displaces the old stuff. It must be kind of fun, though, to go to somewhere like you know QUX dot org and see a Gopher server running and be able to browse it. And it's in a way, you know, we had Ward Cunningham on a little while ago, and I have a feeling Wiki was probably also very much influenced by what you were doing with Gopher. The idea yeah. of links and digging down and references is just a compelling idea. Yeah, and I think another piece that makes this stuff all hang together is the idea that once you have this kind of distributed information system with a bunch of links and things spread around, you got to have some kind of search engine to go with it. Right. So what almost all well, what always comes with those things is some sort of robot that goes and crawls through the whole hierarchy and yeah. then indexes it and makes it searchable. So Gopher had that stuff way before anything like Google is, existed. So you had a, a spider, a crawler, that would go out and look at Gopher sites and, and aggregate it. And then were the sites, were you also doing federation of the content? Yeah. Uh, actually, the guys who are doing... Um, where were they? Nevada? University of Nevada, there were some guys who were doing uh, a thing that would crawl across the internet gopher space and make an index of it that was searchable. Uh, they called it Veronica, uh, which, oh, bo Archie's which, bothered, which bothered the guys who did Archie. Peter Deutsch and Alan M. Tosh hated that name. They, they really did because they were nervous that uh, oh, the comic yeah. guy, the right. comic book guys, were going to get after them for using the name Archie. And oh. It's like, no, 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 that's copyright. Don't, don't, don't be doing that. But uh, we talked to the guys from uh, the UNR who did this and uh, said, well, you know, Veronica is pretty good, and we could probably come up with some kind of acronym. So you know, it's so it was very easy, rodent-oriented network, <laughs> something. <like that. laughs> <laughs> uh, that's called a retronym, right? Where you have the name yeah. and then you go backwards and say, what could that stand for? Yeah. Oh, but see? You... See, Your Honor? We weren't thinking of comic books at all. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> but if you think about it, so you had FTP, which was the de facto distributed information system before Gopher got any kind of traction at all. And the uh, Archie guys went and did a crawler and did a search index, um, and that was really cool. And then we did Gopher, and the same thing happened there. And then the web came, and the same thing happened there. That it always happens because you need sure. some way to search the stuff. Sure, that makes that, yeah. It's no good if you have a well. And that was the really that was the thing that that really made a difference. It really changed things. Was uh, you know you go to the library, and search is very primitive. You go to a card cat in the old days. Go to a card catalog, and it's alphabetical. And then there's this weird Dewey Decimal system, and you had to kind of know that. And it was just, it was very primitive. So it makes sense that as soon as you've got information digitized, you want to take a step beyond the card catalog, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at what happened back then. This is right when microcomputers are getting really popular. Now everybody's making the content using microcomputers, so it's all digital already. Yeah. Now there's also cheap connectivity and the internet with the idea of federating this stuff made it so we're in this perfect storm of everything's turning digital and it's cheap to connect and there's the idea of categorizing it and there's the idea of making it searchable even though it's spread all over the world. Uh, that's where the popularization of the internet came yeah. from. Yeah. And we happen to be at the right place at roughly the right time along with quite a few other people. I mean, I look at Peter Deutsch and Alan Emtage doing the Archie stuff. They were doing the same kind of popularization. They were just working on the older tech. And what Tim Berners-Lee and company were up to was, again, the same idea of, hey, we could take this digital stuff and make it much easier to get at. So it was a fun time. Very but easy, rodent-oriented, net-wide index to computer archives. Ah, there you go. <laughs> the chat room is good. <laughs> 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 I don't know if Eric Duckman knew that or looked it up, but either way, uh, that's that's a retronym for you. That yep. is that is awesome. So, but Archie was the first search engine for Gopher. 
Well, it was the first search engine for FTP sites. Oh, and Archie was FTP, that's right. It, but what we were doing with Gopher was to make Gopher look bigger and plumper than it really was. <laughs> Since there weren't, initially, there aren't that many people running those servers. Right. Is we wrote a gateway between Gopher and FTP. So all of the FTP oh. sites appeared from the Gopher client as if, you know, it's just more Gopher stuff. It became an interface to FTP, in effect. And so you'd also want the interface to the search engine. And right. that, the same sort of thing happened then when the web's starting to get more popular. Of Initially, there weren't that many websites, so they also would support Gopher and kind of embrace and extend. Uh, everybody was doing that to make their thing able to get to pretty much everything else. It's actually uh, interesting that Gopher's still around and Gopher's still being run. And in fact, uh, you can still run your own Gopher server. The Federation still exists. If you go to QUX, you'll find a list of a number of other Gopher servers that you can link to. And you could still do kind of what we did in the earliest days of the Internet and hop around from server to server and find interesting stuff. And it really is a, a rabbit hole that you fall down because you go, you click that and you go, oh, and you click that and you go, oh, and you, by, the <laughs> by the time you're done, it's late at night and you haven't had dinner. <laughs> I remember it, it well. <laughs> thank God for software archaeologists. 